Here at JFY Networks, we are often called the test prep people. It's true that one intended result of our blended learning programs is to help students thrive on MCAS, Accuplacer, and the SAT. The standardized tests that weigh so heavily in the balance for their future options. However, what we are really doing is helping to develop the skills that are measured on those tests. Skills like how to calculate percentages and solve equations and how to increase reading comprehension. Skills that are crucial for life in this society, regardless of school tests. No matter what a student might be planning for the future, good language and math skills are necessary for life beyond high school. Whether entering post-secondary education, a trade school or apprenticeship, the workforce, or the military. Strong reading, math, and problem-solving skills are essential for success and even for survival. And let's face it, standardized testing will eventually return. Students who are working at home now during the school shutdown will have a marked advantage when school and life return to normal. So let's take a few minutes to discuss what students can be doing to strengthen their skills while at home using JFYNet's online instructional software. Nothing is more frustrating than to spend time reading something and then realize that you have not been paying attention and your brain has no idea what your eyes just read. Active reading is a skill that will help students tackle class assignments, tests, and even recreational reading. It can also help with comprehending leases and contracts. As students are reading a text in our Achieve 3000 software, they can highlight or annotate key passages. These could be vocabulary, key words, words that a student does not understand, or phrases that support the poll question. The highlights are located to the left of the passage. Students should highlight information based on teacher instructions. Students can use different colors to highlight different parts of the article. When students have completed highlighting, they can click on the Collect Highlights icon at the bottom of the highlighter toolbar. Collected highlights will appear on the top left of the screen. Click to select text and then Control C to copy. These instructions are on the screen for students to follow. Once highlights are copied, the student can paste them in the reading connection and just click on the blue swirl under the paragraphs. Have them paste into the setting the purpose reading connection. Once saved, these notes will go automatically into the thought question. After practicing this technique for a while, it will become habitual and students will see improvement in comprehension. It's easier to stay engaged if the student is interested in the subject, but it won't always be possible to choose the assignment. As students hone their active reading skills, they will be practicing how to identify the main idea of the text. Since students will be quizzing themselves on what they have been reading, they will be working on the main idea. There are two types of main ideas, stated and implied. Authors sometimes state main ideas in the beginning of a work, and that's easy. But sometimes they leave it to the reader to figure out. This type of implied main idea depends on the reader's general sense of what the author is trying to say in the entire piece. For this type of reading, students have to work a little harder to determine the main idea. The student will also have to understand specific details in order to get the full meaning of the passage. They may need to supply minor details or find specific statements made by the author. Some of the details needed include how the argument is structured and the evidence presented by the author. What is the author trying to say and who is saying it, a character or the narrator? What matters most for students to keep their brains in shape? When we stop exercising the muscles in our arms and legs, they get weak and flabby. The brain muscle works the same way. The longer students spend not exercising their reading comprehension skills, the flabbier their brains will get. Just like a distance runner who stops training, it will take time to get the brain back into shape when school resumes. Students need to keep working and setting goals. Now more than ever, students have to keep working in order to stay ahead and not fall behind. My colleagues and I at JFY Networks are committed to working with teachers and students to ensure continuity of instruction and to provide remote learning support and assistance during the shutdown. 
We hope students will use the time during the shutdown as a chance to get ahead on their academics, putting them in position for success once we all return to school. Thank you for joining us, and we hope that you all stay safe and engaged in learning.